So Nadim, really nice to have you here. I know you're packed. I know you're on a tight schedule, but I, I just want to get to know you, get to know about MLS. It would be really nice for me to know about it as well. It's all good, man. Thank you. And uh, uh, I'm not that busy. <laughs> Don't make me sound like a you know a busy person. It's uh, it's Eid time and yeah. uh, it's busy and yes. you know we live in the Middle East so yes. red meat uh, Eid is all about red meat exactly. beef lamb I hope yes. you're enjoying with your family soon yes. I hope you got your uh, kurbani the udhiya <laughs> order <Yeah. laughs> did you buy from MLS <laughs> <laughs> we always do I mean like MLS I think that has completely changed the way I look at meat. Before it, it used to be like just going to the place and you know where where it's you know, excuse me but go, going to a stinky store and getting the meat done but from just ordering on your phone it has completely changed my life especially like you know uh, to be honest with you this was the first time like I've like tried actual steak like at home okay like not at okay. a restaurant at home like you know where where at restaurants it's always a smaller piece but you know I have a bigger piece because I'm greedy like that so you know it has completely changed my life so I wanted to know more about it as well like I want to see like you know what see, was th that's how we want you to feel right? yeah so the the whole reason of existence for MLS is to improve your fresh meat shopping experience and yeah. I focus on the word fresh because yeah. it's all about providing you with that high quality fresh experience where you should not be having that struggle and that trouble of going into a uh, not so good looking meat store it does not smell that good yeah. and uh, you basically you uh, buying fresh meat is difficult in yes. in the region and uh, there are various reasons behind it but uh, that's why mls exists that uh, to improve your shopping experience that you can walk into a a beautiful gourmet boutique meat stores. Mm -hmm. I always tell people that uh, the vision of the company is uh, we exist to nourish people with nature's yeah. finest red meat. Yeah. But then my vision is we make beautiful butcheries. <laughs> like it, it just yeah. uh, like to provide that whole experience. And mm -hmm. uh, so you know, it's all about you coming into our store and not just buying your meat. That's that's just the product. Yeah, it's the experience. Like your bespoke experience where the butcher is cutting it the way you want the thickness the width the length whichever cut you want do you want grass fed or grain fed do you uh, where does it come from is it from australia is it from new zealand is it from south africa where is the meat coming from so these questions are unanswered when you walk into a traditional butchery but so we try to you know address those questions and uh, give you that experience yeah yeah i mean like person like personalizing meat was the first time for me like okay. like that like i haven't seen something you, you live in that. dubai man i mean <laughs> it's, uh, there are so many options over here some very good options here. i know i know i mean uh, speaking about dubai like y'all have started in oman right and yeah. and in oman like the same day delivery kind of that that whole idea about same day delivery this to just maintain freshness like a lot of businesses don't think about that to be honest mm -hmm. with you they always have like a and like you know a specific timing a standard delivery time but the same day freshness for meat how did that in Oman we deliver within two hours Whoa. we don't deliver on the same we started when we started MLS.OM we yeah. were doing a same day delivery so if you would order before like 2 p.m. you would get your meat in the evening that this is back in 2020 uh, during COVID, uh, that was a nightmare. I'll tell you about it. Yeah. But uh, now we do a two-hour fresh meat delivery across Omaka. That's yeah. So, <laughs> that's so that is the commitment we are, which, which we are given to our customers, yeah. right? So that you should not be like waiting for your meat or plan for your meat weeks in advance. It's a fresh commodity. It's a fresh product. You need it fresh every time you cook. So whenever you order online, it has to arrive within two hours. Wow, well, that's and that's... Uh, so when you when you, when you order online. Uh, you know, the order confirmation, email, SMS, and WhatsApp, it all comes to you at the same time. Our yeah. customers sometimes complain about it that, hey, it's too much. But <laughs> every single of that communication which we are doing through yeah. email, SMS, or WhatsApp, it has a, a WhatsApp link. It has a communication channel that you can always track your order. You can talk to the customer service that, hey, where is my order? But we try our best to deliver within two hours. Actually, our average delivery time is 90 minutes across Oman. Oh. Nice. But uh, we promise... Two hours. Two hours. So uh, yeah. basically, we, we don't want to like you know over promise and yeah. under deliver. Yeah. Uh, like you know, basically just commit two hours and try to deliver within that window to be safe. That's amazing. Like I mean, for me, like four hours, five hours was like a big deal. So two hours is like crazy. Yeah. That's amazing. And and, and you can crop this for the Oman ads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> we're doing for the podcast. Yeah. Right? This is my camera, right? Yeah, we're doing it for the ads, guys. <laughs> Come on, man. This guy, he has convinced me to do it for the ads. <laughs> Amount of money we spend on digital marketing. <laughs> and also, I just want to know, like, uh, personally, I was intrigued to know about MLS, like how it, mm-hmm. the, the inception of uh, MLS and how it all began. What was the idea? What was the thought process like to bring meat delivery? And w- were you all the first to do it in Oman or... Like, how, how did it happen? So, um, I come from a family of butchers. Yeah. My father was a butcher. My grandfather was a butcher. And so, uh, I have grown up around a meat, uh, around a house uh, with meat and livestock being a part of the conversation every single day. So, uh, my dad, uh, my family, we are from Pakistan. And uh, um, my dad came to Oman 1977. So, you know, a classic expat story. Uh, so yeah, he got on a boat and he did not know where the boat was going yeah. and he landed in Oman. Yeah. And this is the story I tell, like telling people, like uh, he was 14 at that time and obviously uh, times were difficult yeah. and he got on the boat, the boat landed in, in, in Matra, it's, which is a seaport uh, of Muscat. So uh, red meat is something which we know because it's a family business and uh, I am not the only one in the family business. There are, we are, we are uh, three partners, uh, my father and my, my brother and then myself. So my older brother, Naveed, uh, I think I should call him older because I, I like to make fun of him, <laughs> or my elder brother, Naveed. Yeah. He was the one who actually started the company back in 2008. So uh, we are 16 years old today. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, he was the one uh, who basically transformed us from being a butcher shop just a single butcher shop in Ibra. Ibra is about 200 kilometers away from Muscat okay. in Oman. And uh, so uh, my brother, uh, he w- and uh, like, you know, my, my brother, he went to my dad back in 2008. And he's like, dad, I want to I wanna make a company. I want to make a business. <laughs> he's like, go work in a bank somewhere. I've invested in your education. I've invested in, in, uh, in you. So... Like, you know, maybe go work in a bank somewhere. Yeah. And uh, uh, he was like, no, dad, I think there's a potential and we should build a business around it. Yeah. So uh, so dad thought at that time that the idea of business is that maybe, like, you know, I have a butcher shop yeah. and my son will make another butcher shop next to me. Mm-hmm. So that was, that, that's thought, what dad yeah. thought. But obviously, like, uh, yeah. dad is dad. Yeah. Can't, <laughs> so uh, fathers are, are a blessing. I mean, I, yeah. I'm, I'm so proud to have, have like, the, the father I have. And uh, so, yeah. Coming back to the point, my brother Naveed, uh, back in 2008, formed the business. And uh, at that time, my dad gave him about 15,000 riyal, which is about $40,000. Yeah. And then he said that, don't ever tell me in future that your father didn't help you. Okay. So that was the like formation of Muscat Livestock, which is MLS today. Yeah. So Muscat Livestock, uh, the reason it started is that uh, my brother wanted to import live animals from Australia, so live sheep and goat from Australia process them in Oman and the supply into Horeca, into hotels, restaurant, catering. Okay. So that's where it all started. Mm-hmm. So from 2008 all the way until 2020, we were a wholesale business. We were a B2B business. Nobody knew us. We were the people behind the scene. Mm-hmm. So we were supplying into hotels, restaurants, aviation, catering. We are the official suppliers of Oman Air. We are the suppliers for the Royal Oman Police, the Army, so and the, and the other go- governmental institutions. So... For, for 12 years of our, of our company history, from 2008 all the way until 2020, we were a B2B business, a wholesale business. We were supplying into retailers, supplying into you know, all the hotels and restaurants, and uh, nobody knew about us. And then the eventful year of COVID happens, yeah. <laughs> COVID-19, and uh, our entire business comes to a standstill. I mean, COVID-19 was a, was a very difficult time for, for all of us, and especially for the business. So imagine that uh, you have worked all your life to build a business and then it comes to a standstill during COVID and uh, uh, all of our customers, all our clients uh, were not operating and we have about uh, 1,500 metric ton of uh, uh, frozen and fresh red meat which we had ordered for our customers and it's sitting in the warehouse and we have no no channel. uh, So MLS, the retail arm, the retail business came out of a necessity. Okay. It was not like, you know, we, we just thought one day that we will get into retail and start building a beautiful meat stores and start an online store. No, MLS.OM in Oman came out as a necessity to survive the pandemic. 
And uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, we started with the same delivery in Oman. Yes. And today we have 19 gourmet stores across Oman, 19 fulfillment centers. And we deliver within two hours across the country. And uh, 2024 today, uh, we are now, Alhamdulillah, we are in Dubai. And it's our fourth month in Dubai. And uh, that uh, the, re the expansion into retail actually uh, inspi inspired us. Yeah. It gave us... A, it gave us an opening into something untapped. It uh, it enabled us, it showed us the window that we can do so much better. And uh, it, instead of just being a wholesale trading business, importing it from Australia, from New Zealand, from all across the world, and then without adding any value, just giving it to uh, another wholesaler or supplying it to a, a, a hotel or restaurant and let them do the magic, why don't we do the magic? Why don't we provide that high quality fresh meat experience to our customers and make it accessible? So when we launched MLS, we realized that there is so much untapped potential in this market. Where, what, what are the options our customers have for buying fresh meat? For buying fresh meat uh, with authenticity, uh, which is traceable. So, uh, I mean, with all, with all due respect to all the retailers out there or the butchers out there, but... Uh, most of the meat loses its identity. Yeah. So once you open a vacuum packed bag, red, all red meat looks the same. So what we decided to do is that we want to give a traceable and a transparent experience. So when you walk into an MLS store, when you order online, it tells you everything about meat. Mm -hmm. So whether it is class fed or grain fed, where did it come from, which origin, uh, was it shipped chilled or fresh? or was it shipped by sea or by air? All the certificates, is it hormone free? Is it antibiotic free? So all of this information is available with certificates, with the evidence to our customer that if you're buying Australian black Angus beef ribeye steak, which you yeah. enjoy, yes. then you can actually see all the evidence around it. That how was it packed? How was that animal raised? So that's where we realized that so much can be done in this space and uh, for us we reverse engineer the whole process yeah. so we understood the problems our customers were facing and then we just worked our way back that how do we improve the fresh meat shopping experience in Oman at that time and now we're trying to do the same in Dubai yeah amazing amazing to know about that especially and me being an entrepreneur like you know I'm I also look at other entrepreneurs and get inspired like but I want to know, like, what is the challenges in running a family business? Like, what, what are the obstacles? Like, because I know as an entrepreneur who has a partnership, I, I, there are obstacles, there are, like, challenges as well. What about the challenges in a family business? So I joined the business back in 2014, and uh, so almost 10 years of being in a family business. I work with my brother, obviously, and uh, we have disagreements. Uh, we don't like each other sometimes. Yes. <laughs> but uh, as long as... The vision is the same. Uh, me and my brother, we share a similar vision. Uh, we have disagreements. We, uh, we do have respectful disagreements. That's what's most important. Yeah. Uh, we are both rational. We both listen to each other. But uh, sometimes it gets too much. Yeah. So, I mean, I know this 2024, we talk about mental health all the time. Sure. But being in a family business, uh, you, have to, you have to be respectful of boundaries. Yeah on a personal level and also on a professional level. Okay. But alhamdulillah, in my case, uh, me and my brother, we have, a same, we have the same vision. We do not have any large disagreements on where, or, or where the company should go, where, or, the, or on the direction of the business. So, I mean, uh, it's challenging, but uh, it's the, if, you can able, if you're able to uh, have partners who are like-minded, like myself, I got lucky, alhamdulillah, uh, so you can do so much. I mean, the the potential is uh, is uh, is huge. Mm -hmm. Like the sky is the limit. Where because if you are working with a partner who do not have the same vision and the same direction as you, then you would struggle. But uh, and most family businesses they suffer because so many reasons can come into play. Right? Like you are mixing your personal and professional life. You might have a disagreement at home, yeah. which, can, which is creeping up into your business mm -hmm. at your yeah. office space. So there are so many things like that which can happen. But having those boundaries defined, having those red lines defined that, hey, this is work and this is home. So, I mean, if in my case, alhamdulillah, I got lucky. My brother is my partner. My brother 
is the reason I sit over here today talking to you. Yeah. And uh, for us, uh, it's about the overall welfare of the business. It's not about my ego or his ego yeah. or when, when you bring egos into the business, when you bring egos into the partnership, that's where things go wrong. Yeah. So uh, we have the same direction, we have the same vision, and uh, we want to provide you with the most high quality fresh meat shopping experience. And we want to give the best possible customer service out there. Like you can call us anytime, you can message us anytime. And we want to, so me and my brother, we invest into these things. And because we are so passionate about that experience, so it allows me, it allows us to 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 able to serve our customers better. Uh, challenges are there. Every business has challenges. Every family business has challenges. Sure. There is emotional conversations everywhere. Obviously, I have it as well with my brother. But we try to look at things rationally and we go on with it. Yeah, and also like uh, UAE is like a stacked market. Like you know, UAE like. Personally, for me, like for my business, UAE is like very difficult because like it's it has got saturated so much and it's very difficult. And also, when you take the meat sector of it, and I I believe it's twice as much as what I am envisioning for my business. Like, how how what was the thought process when you were coming to UAE? Man, uh, as I said, we are a classic expat story, right? So from Pakistan, uh, born and raised in Oman, uh, we built our family business in Oman. And uh, for us, uh, we used to come to Dubai for vacations. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like a five hour drive. Yeah. Uh, on a weekend, you would come in and uh, you would uh, enjoy the restaurants here, enjoy the nightlife here, and then you would go back to Moscow. So uh, again, every, there is no plan. There was, there was no, never like, I, if I tell you right now, there was a plan of coming to Dubai, I would be lying to you, yeah. no. Uh, when we started the business back, uh, back in 2008, and then when we started the retail business in 2020, for us, we have been just uh, improvising on the go. So okay. it's been the retail division. This is what we're expanding into the buy now. So uh, for us, it was about an organic geographical expansion. And we understand the buy. We have been coming to the buy all our life. And uh, we believe that the consumer in Dubai would appreciate our offering and the value proposition which MLS provides. So when it comes to providing authenticity, traceability and transparent fresh meat shopping experience and obviously the e-commerce scene is buzzing in Dubai so imagine a fresh meat delivery and a, we plan to actually deliver within 90 minutes across Dubai by the, by the end of the year so for us uh, we thought that Dubai and obviously the UAE overall market would be very appreciative of the idea that there is a fresh meat delivery service whenever you order online it would come to your house within the same day Hopefully, inshallah, within 90 minutes by the end of the year. That's what we're going for. So uh, UAE inspired us. It has, this country has a vision which is very similar to ours. Like we are very ambitious people. I think UAE is also a pretty ambitious country, a, pre, a very ambitious market. And that's what inspired us. Uh, like every other entrepreneur which comes to Dubai, like yourself, uh, it, the market inspires you. Mm -hmm. The market inspires you to, uh, it, it motivates you to do more. It, it motivates you to get better every day because you see this competition. And everyone says that competition is dangerous, it's unhealthy. Uh, maybe I'm stupid, maybe I look at it the other way. I believe competition is good. Yeah. It inspires you to be better. It gives me an opportunity to provide a superior experience to my customers and show them why MLS is better than other big box retailers or other options out there. We are rivals, not enemies, right? <laughs> I is mean, it? rivals are enemies at the end of the day. We uh, all... Uh, we are selling fresh meat, you are pr producing content. Yeah. <laughs> it will continue to be there, right? Yeah. I mean, competition is looked at in a very negative way, yeah. but I think competition motivates you to do better. And that's why uh, MLS provides that superior fresh meat shopping experience. I would always want customers in Dubai or in Oman to say that, hey, I, I went to MLS and I had the best fresh meat shopping experience. Even though there are so many options out there, but there would be some loyal fans of MLS which would say, no, I had a better experience over there. And that's what we work for. Yeah, true. And any further expansions? Where are you planning to move? Have you thought about it? Or? No, I haven't thought about it, man. Not at all. So we, we started in Oman, now we're in UAE. Inshallah, maybe in maybe Saudi next year, yeah. but we don't. I, I mean, we are here, we, are, uh, we just launched our e-commerce store, yeah. mlsuae.ae, uh, back in Ramadan, March yes. 2024. Yeah. 
it is growing. Alhamdulillah, we're getting a lot of success. We're getting a lot of attraction online. And uh, we are here as, as of now. Today, we want to do this market. We want to focus on Dubai. We want to focus on UAE and then think about the markets. Let's talk about Motor City. When you talk about the, you spoke about the uh, website, the only thing that came to my head was Motor City. Like, you know, what, what's happening? So, MLS as a business, uh, people think of us as an online store. People think of us as a technology company. We are not a technology company. <laughs> we are an e-commerce business. <laughs> we are a meat company. We are a fresh meat company. And we are very proud of it. We are never in doubt of who we are. We always should be true to, we should try to, we should stay true to our identity. Yeah. That's what I believe. That, uh, so we are not a tech business. We are an e-commerce meat business, a fresh meat business. And we try to do, you know, we try to sell fresh meat in the best possible manner. And uh, in, in order to give you that experience, online is not enough. E-commerce is not enough. And uh, we believe that there is 95% plus consumers who still, to the day, go to a physical meat shop, a butcher shop, and uh, they go into the shop, they look at their meat, they smell the meat, they, they review the quality of the meat, how it looks like, how it feels like, and they make a purchase. So Motor City is our first gourmet store in Dubai. We exist to make beautiful butcheries. I know the vision is different, but yeah. I have modified it that other way. So Motor City, inshallah, will be opening by the 1st of July. And that's what we're trying to do. It's a new building, uh, fit out is going on. And um, yeah, so for us, uh, Motor City will be the first ever physical retail experience which MLS will provide to the Dubai market. We already have 19 gourmet stores in Oman. If you are ever in Muscat, please, you know, by yes, all means, sure. visit us. So Motor City is uh, the first ever MLS gourmet store in UAE, and it is opening in July. Amazing. And I was also like, Thinking to put you on the spot <laughs> to get a little bit of a spot already. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, uh, speaking about healthy competition, what do you like? Who do you think are the healthy competitions? In the there are so many. I have so much respect for so many fresh meat businesses in Dubai, in UAE, and uh, I believe Prime Gourmet is doing ex excellent work out there. Spinney's is doing amazing work in the fresh meat space. So. Again, great competition out there. We have a lot of work to do in terms of providing a better experience, a high quality experience. So, uh, I mean, competition is there, but we have to do better. Better, yeah. And also like a lot of brands right now are going towards that, uh, the versatile marketing, that's what they call, like, you know, where it's, it's not standard pictures with the meat, like buy this, this is the price. It's not that anymore. It's, it's very quirky. It's very, and you all also follow the same trend. Yeah. You go with quirky marketing, the trends and, and it's always nice to see brands do that rather than just being very traditional. What's your thought about that? Uh, Shafi, for us, when we started selling meat online, the biggest challenge for us was the trust of the customer. Like, just think, uh, whenever um, like whenever you go and shop for fresh meat, you want to go to the physical store. You want to see the meat. You want to see how, you want to see how it looks like, how it feels like, the color of the meat. So when we started our e-commerce store, the first question we were answering was the trust. We wanted to get the trust of the customers. That we want to show exactly the same photo online on our e-commerce on our web store, on our mobile app. The mobile app is coming very soon, yeah. this year. We just didn't want to launch a mobile app for the, re for the sake of launching an app, yeah. no. It should be a high quality mobile app, that's why it has taken us a while, but our web store is completely optimized. Coming back to the point, when we started the online store, the trust was the biggest challenge. Getting that trust from our customer, alhamdulillah, today is the win. That's, how, that's why MLS is different today. So. We want to show you the exact same photo online of how your meat looks like, how your steak looks like, if you order a 250 gram steak or a 350 gram ribeye or a strip loin or a tenderloin. That photo online is your first entry point to the experience of the brand, right? So when you receive your meat box at home, it should look like the same. It should not be like you're ordering a white t-shirt and you're getting a black t-shirt. Yeah. So we, we wanted to address that problem where Whatever you see online is what you get. So a 250-gram ribeye steak or a 350-gram strip loin steak, it should look 
exactly the same way on the e-commerce as it should arrive in the box to you. Yeah. So from there it all started where we tried sh we started showing our product, our packaging of how our box looks like, how the packaging looks like, and also all our packaging is biodegradable. Yeah. We try to use as pl less plastic as possible. We are also the first carbon neutral company in Oman. Yeah, well. You know, when you think about meat, yes. and a meat company being a carbon neutral, we yeah. are the, probably the, one of the biggest reasons for methane emission. For, uh, and uh, most meat companies have a seriously big carbon footprint. But we, are the we were the first ever carbon neutral company in Oman. We offset com our complete carbon emission and our carbon footprint. And uh, that inspired us to, com to change our packaging completely. So we use paper biodegradable packaging, the, the box, the absorbent foam trays where we put the meat on, everything. And uh, hopefully we would be going carbon neutral in Dubai by the end of the year. Wow, that's amazing. So I proudly create content for MLS in UAE. And I just want to ask you one question. Like when we discuss content, it's from your end, it's always about how it's beneficial to the people. Right, so, so when we always discuss, it's about what kind of nutrients the meat contains and all of that. And how, how important do you think is it for the people to know? Because I understand you, you push it a lot because you want the people to know, you want it to be very informative, but how important do you think it, and what, what's the value that you, the people get out of it? Man, value is everything. Value is everything. And I always tell my team that don't market the product, market the end result. So. You, uh, you as a customer should see, when you, whenever you see an MLS ad online, it should not be about selling meat to you. Yeah. It should be about selling experience to you. It should be about what are you gonna get out of that purchase. So when you see an MLS ad online, we try to communicate that uh, this particular product has this much gram of protein, obviously, that's yeah. red meat. It will, it's gonna arrive to you within the same day or within two hours, whatever the delivery hours are or time is. Uh, so the the entire purpose behind our marketing, uh, and uh, we have a seriously big marketing team now. We do a lot of things in house, uh, in Oman, and also we do a lot of things uh, with external partners like yourself. Thank you for creating great content for us. So we always try to communicate that this is the value which you will get out of our red meat, and uh, whether it is in the form of uh, packaging, whether it's in the form of nutrition and uh, nutrients protein the whether it's in the form of a convenient home delivery fresh meat should not be difficult to buy this is what we try to communicate to our customers and if, whenever you see an mls ad online you should see how the product looks like those questions which you have in your mind that how it would arrive is it going to arrive in a in a very poor plastic bag <laughs> or is it going to arrive mm -hmm. uh, all soaking wet the moisture and the blood falling all ev everywhere no we want to show you exactly how your experience would be and when would you get your product how would you get your product and how to order online yeah. so we spoke about the benefits of the meat but there are people who just like me like people who just care about how it tastes What's, what's your strategy towards them? Like, how do you see, like... So obviously, when you're buying red meat from MLS, it should taste well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a fresh meat product and it should add a, a great value to your experience of consuming high quality steak or high quality red meat, whatever you consume. So uh, taste is, is important. I mean, we, we cannot compromise on it. And we believe that, that fresh meat, uh, because it is fresh because it is handled so well from the moment it is processed in the country of origin all the, by the time it comes into uh, Dubai it should be handled in the most careful manner it should be handled in the most uh, uh, safe manner where by, by the time you as a consumer when you get that steak all the way from from the US or from Australia you should enjoy it to the last bite you should look forward to your dinner. You should look forward to your lunch with MLS. Yeah. That whenever you think about red meat or fresh meat, you should think about MLS. Yeah. So I always give example that uh, we don't say, hey, I'm going to get a taxi. No, we say Uber. Uh, I'm not going to, I don't say like, hey, I'm going to go and do a Google search. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do a, a search. Uh, we don't say that. We say, I'm going to do a Google search. Yeah. So when you think about fresh meat, we want you to think MLS. 
and the 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 envisioning for the next five years or ten years like what what is it what is the thought next five years plan if you ask me uh, we don't have a plan yeah. <laughs> we are here in Dubai this year and we want to do the, we want to build our business in UAE we want to build as many government stores as possible and provide you the quickest fresh meat delivery in UAE that's the plan right now and we want to provide you that high quality fresh meat shopping experience by building MLS gourmet stores across UAE and by providing you your fresh meat in the most amazing, in the most fastest manner. I, That's the plan. I love how you're so passionate about what you're selling. Like, you know, you always use like really nice keywords as well, which I respect, which is very important for a brand who's the face of the brand, who, who is like, oh, like taking ownership. Like that's that's some of the things that you know that i that i get inspired by as well but let me put you on the spot again <laughs> i want you i'm giving you 30 seconds you're, you're on an elevator with three people who you need to convince uh -huh. to purchase mls what would you say in 30 seconds traceable transparent fresh amazing three seconds <laughs> That's, yeah, so let's talk about we spoke about the competitors we spoke about how this market is saturated as well but i want to know like how is mls any different from any of the competitors that are there in the market right now first of all we only focus on fresh meat we are not a butchery and grill we are not a butchery and seafood we don't do seafood or french fries or vegetables you would never find any of those products in mls store yeah. we focus on fresh meat and that is the the core focus of the business and when the day we when we realized that we have done everything in the fresh meat space then we would venture into something else but how mls is different from the competitor from what we see especially in uae that most of the butcheries are butchery and grill butchery and steakhouse butchery and restaurant they are selling bread or hummus or or mutabbal or other other stuff with the with the meat mls would never do that MLS is about focusing on high quality fresh meat and providing you the best possible fresh meat shopping experience, period, nothing else. And we want to innovate in the fresh meat space by introducing a great variety of cuts, not just the prime cuts like tenderloin, strip loin, ribeye. We believe in providing other secondary cuts. There are other cuts in the cattle yeah. which you can consume. We want to provide you grass fed, grass finished or grain fed or grain finished experience. We want to provide you with black Angus beef from Australia, also black Angus beef from yeah. America. Uh, we want to provide you Japanese Wagyu beef. We want to also, also provide Wagyu beef from Australia. So MLS wants to innovate in the fresh meat space and provide you with that experience. And once we, re and the day we realized, okay, we have done enough in the fresh meat space, then maybe we will venture into like French fries or vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, we only understand fresh meat and that's what we want to focus on yeah and tell me about mls subscriptions because like i when i went to the website like you know i was intrigued myself i want to know about it it is fresh meat and uh, it's not like something <laughs> our, cons our consumer would buy like 100 kg and stock it in the freezer no fresh meat is something which you buy every week every three days fresh meat is something which you buy uh, regularly and it's a purchase which should be easy and that's why we launched the MLS subscriptions so MLS subscription is all about you signing up for a fresh meat box I, you can build that box or you can choose a ready-made box online we have provide both the options on our web store and then it, forget about it that box comes to your house in the most automatic manner backed by automatic payment and forget about it completely so if you like consuming uh, your ribeye steaks. Shafi should not be worried about that those ribeye steaks going to the store, ordering online again, or waiting for the delivery. No. Once you subscribe to an MLS meat box, it just comes to your house. It's backed by automatic payments. The payment is, is done online. The delivery would come to your house hassle free. Just build your box, or if you want to make any changes to your box by adding an item or removing an item, you can do all of that online and just forget about it. Relax at home, your fresh meat box, your fresh meat needs are already taken care of. Is the main USP, USP of MLS convenience? Because it sounds like convenience to me. Is it mainly convenience? Convenience, or? fresh, high quality, and uh, providing the best possible experience for your meals. 
and you're almost done. We can talk about the the marketing side of uh, what we do uh, in house and external, yeah. and then we like you know shape it around the me- how it works in the media business. Okay. Let's talk about the marketing aspects of uh, MLS and how we all have evolved. Like I said, you all don't follow the traditional marketing. It it, ha- it it is a mix of traditional marketing plus also like you know like you know following with the new trends and all of that. How does marketing work in MLS? Uh, we're a, we're a fresh meat company and uh, marketing is something which is very uh, dear to me. Uh, I also did my MBA in marketing back in 2014. When I joined the business, uh, actually, I couldn't apply any of my learnings, which I learned in the school, until the retail business came into place in 2020. So marketing uh, for a meat company, uh, people always look at our marketing and they are, uh, I mean, they are, they are inspired by it. Uh, I mean, I'm grateful for all the love. I'm grateful for all the support which we get on our Instagram page and uh, all the community which we have built in Oman and UAE. It is... Marketing is about adding value and uh, we are also a company which has remote employees full-time so we have full-time remote marketing employee so we're talking about uh, graphic designers, video editors, content writers, uh, email marketers, SMS marketers all working full-time with MLS and um, we are a team of about 12 people and we also work with uh, external partners like yourself. We also uh, want to shout out to our digital marketing agency, Tidal, which is helping us out in UAE. Uh, so it's all about adding value to the customer. It's about getting the word out. We are very proud of our digital marketing strategy. And for us, it's all about providing our final customer that MLS experience in the most uh, graphical manner. In whether it's a static ad or dynamic ad, whether are you on Google, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, regardless of which platform are you on, we want to get your attention over there. We want to drive traffic to our web store. And marketing is very dear to us because uh, that's what took us out of the pandemic. When MLS.OM was launched in Oman back in 2020, the web store, the, the digital marketing is what saved our business. Because unfortunately, you can't af- always afford the out of the house marketing yeah. by putting billboards. It's, it's super expensive. Uh, but digital marketing is something which you can do. So we started with Facebook ads and then we ventured into YouTube ads. Today, we are a team of 12. We also work with third party agencies and uh, uh, we enjoy it. We love making content. We love educating our customers. We love creating fun content. It should not be a boring red meat company. Yeah. No, it should be a fun high quality, very engaging uh, red meat business trying to market itself. And uh, once our customer sees value in our marketing, that's what drives sales, not the other way around. We can't just continue to sell, 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 uh, and then like bombard them with emails, SMS and WhatsApp if we're not adding any value. So marketing is about adding value to our customers. And it's also 100% digital right now, all kinds, all forms of marketing? All, all digital right now, and we're doing podcast ads now, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> MLS is not just a brand for, uh, for marketing uh, the most expensive or the most premium red meat range. So we carry the entire range, from the most economical red meat to the most premium fresh meat. So if you enjoy uh, Japanese Wagyu, we have it available. If you enjoy uh, locally slaughtered, locally processed uh, Pakistani beef or, or Somali lamb or Somali beef, that's also available at MLS. If you enjoy a mid-range, uh, high-quality, grass-fed Australian beef or Brazilian beef, we also have that. So it, it's about uh, catering all types of segments in red meat. Uh, it's about serving everyone who thinks about fresh meat, who cares about fresh meat. So uh, whether you are... Uh, this daily consumer who consumes fresh beef mints or fresh lamb bone in cubes, MLS has it. If you are a, a passionate enthusiast who wants uh, Australian Wagyu beef tomahawk, we also have that. So the positioning of MLS is about being there for everyone. Whoever thinks of fresh meat, they should think about MLS because of the entire range which we carry. We carry more than 14 origins as of now. Uh, we have more than 550 fresh meat products in our stores as of now. And uh, it's about providing that fresh meat shopping experience, whether you're buying the most economical red meat to the most premium red meat. 
And I always use this uh, fashion ana analogy. Uh, I always say that we are the Zara of red meat. So when you walk into a Zara store, it looks beautiful, it looks great, but it is affordable. Yes. Uh, so we had this challenge in Oman. So when we started building our gourmet stores, our gourmet stores looks looks premium. It looks looks premium from outside, and uh, it it might look a, a bit intimidating. It might look a bit like it, it's expensive, but when you walk into an MLS store and when you see the pricing, you're actually shocked, a good a shocked in a good way, that this is actually affordable. This is actually great. So that's the experience which we want to provide, that, okay, it looks premium, but it's affordable. It's very affordable. Low price and high quality meat doesn't go in the same sentence. How so are you able to provide that? We, we would never say that we are low price. See, we have different categories. We have the essentials, classic, and premium. So in the essentials category, we have your everyday uh, economical red meat range, which we import from Pakistan, from India, uh, the locally slaughtered beef and lamb from Somalia, the African red meat, which we import into the country. That's our economical range. So uh, economical range has an economical consumer base, which prefers that red meat. Then we have our mid range from, from Australia, from New Zealand, the Brazilian grass fed, the South African grass fed. So, and then the premium range. So we have we, we are building our stores, we are selling meat online to cater all the parts of the market, all the segments of the market. So it's not about being low price, it's about being at the right price. Yeah. So because we are a direct importer, we are not a middleman. We directly import from our farms in Pakistan, from Aust in Australia, we directly import from our farms, we cut the middlemen, and we try to give hand-cut steaks without adding that margin into our price. So when we import, uh, obviously there are costs of shipping, freight, uh, the cost of handling the fresh meat, because fresh meat, there are so many things impacting fresh meat. From the way it was slaughtered in the facility, in the country of origin, from the way it was packed, transit can affect fresh meat, handling of fresh meat at our outlets can affect the quality of fresh meat. And for us, it was about not adding you know, tremendous and ridiculous margins into our pricing. It was about giving value. So once we are giving value, it was about putting the right price where the customer should not feel ripped off. The customer should not feel like, no, MLS is too expensive. No, people should, customers should feel that MLS is pricing it, it right. It, it, it's, it's fair pricing for the value for, and for the service which we, we provide. So. Uh, we offer 100% free returns and replacements. So if you ever had a bad experience with MLS, reach out to us and we are there to fix it. We will offer you a replacement until we make you happy. If uh, you get your replacement and you are still not happy, we're going to send you another one. We're going to send you another one after that until you are satisfied with your fresh meat purchase because we want you to get a great value for your money whenever you buy from MLS. So customer service at MLS is taken in a very serious manner. We want to provide the best possible customer service experience out there. And uh, if we are an online store, we're an online business, and uh, we are processing thousands of orders every day, obviously we're not perfect. Some orders go wrong, some orders there are mistakes, but there is the only point communicated to our customer service team. Our customer service team is there to fix your experience. It's is there to improve your experience. So you should be able to reach out to us on email, SMS, WhatsApp, or on a call any time of the day. If you have any issues, if, you are, if there is smell in the product, if, there, if the product does not look good, if you have any questions around your order, you should reach out to us. And our customer service team's job is to fix your experience. If your experience goes wrong, uh, God forbid, and something goes wrong with your order, MLS customer service team is there to fix your experience, is to make sure that you get excellent value out of your purchase. Yeah, so Nadim, it was really amazing talking to you. It was, it's, you know, this conversation was really important for me as well to know about the brand, for the people to know about the brand as well. And it was actually like, it didn't feel like it, I, it was an insightful conversation. Thank you so much, Nadim. Thank you for having me today. And I don't usually do this. Uh, I prefer being on the background and trying to build the business, but uh, 
I enjoy talking to you today. I enjoy. Uh, thank you. To, thank you to the team, guys. Uh, thank you for helping us with the whole setup. And uh, I know it's an era of podcast ads, and everybody's a podcast <laughs> pro now, <laughs> and I'm one of them now. I, I think I was telling him, I'm like, I don't want to do this podcast, and he was like, No, let's do it. It's working. Uh, it gets a lot of conversions online, a lot of clicks online. I'm like, Man, come on. <laughs> I, I'm not used to it. So, uh, but uh, thank you for having me. Thank you, team, for for having us here and. Uh, once again, uh, it's always a pleasure to connect with Shafi. Uh, he's a great content creator for MLS as of now. When when we wa- when we uh, ventured into UAE, uh, we found him online actually <laughs> on Instagram, <laughs> and then uh, it, it's been great. Like we and uh, we are only getting better day by day. And pod- this podcast was one of the uh, one of the initiatives which I would never have done myself if he had not convinced me. So thank you. That thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much.